Here I will be going over the procedure and how to install the Raspbian operating system onto an SD card for use with the Raspberry Pi 3 Model B. Before we begin, you will need a Raspberry Pi, obviously, um, along with a power pack or power supply unit to provide power to the device itself. And then you will need a micro SD card, preferably class 10. Um, and then we will need a few programs that we will be downloading as well. Uh, one of which is Win32 Disk Imager, uh, which will be used to uh, put the ISO image or the image file onto the SD card. Um, so you can head on over to SourceForge.net or just do a Google search for Win32 Disk Imager, uh, download that. And then you can head on over to sdcard.org and download the SD card formatter. Uh, this will be used to format the SD card before we use Win32 Disk Imager. And when you have those two downloaded, then you can head on over to raspberrypi.org. And then we can go to the download section. And we can see here that uh, Raspbian is right here. We can click on it. And they have two uh, operating systems here available, the light version and then the Jesse with Pixel. Now in this video we will be using this one here so we can go ahead and download the zip file. Now you can download the torrent too if that makes it easier for you. Keep in mind that if you download the zip file you will need some type of data compression tool on your computer so that you can actually unzip the files. So our file is uh, around 1.4 gigabytes, so that will take just a few minutes. All right, now that we have our file downloaded, we can go ahead and open it up. And as we can see, the disk image file is located inside this zip folder. Uh, so we can go ahead and extract this, and you could either put it to send it to your desktop or extract it to another folder of your choice. I'm going to go ahead and extract it to the documents folder. So here we have our documents uh, folder. And then we'll go ahead and oops, we'll go ahead and extract that there. All right, so now we have our disk image file extracted to the documents directory. Now at this point, you'll want to make sure that your SD card is inserted into your computer. You'll most likely need an SD card adapter because most standard computers don't allow you to just insert a micro SD card. So as soon as you have your SD card uh, inserted into your computer, uh, we can continue and what we will do first is we will actually format the SD card. Uh, so my SD card is uh, currently at uh, drive D. Uh, you can see it's 14.8 uh, gigabytes. The actual size of the SD card is 16 gigabytes though. Uh, so we'll go ahead and format that. And then we can exit out of there. And now we can open up our Win32 Disk Imager program that you should have already downloaded. And here we will need to actually select the image file. So we will need to browse to the location. And once again, uh, I extracted it to the documents folder. And it is actually located right here. So we will select that. So now we have our disk image file selected and make sure you have the correct device selected as well. You don't want to overwrite something else that doesn't need to be overwritten. So as soon as you have your disk image file and the device selected, uh, we can go ahead and continue and click the right button. All right, now that we have our disk image file installed onto our micro SD card, you can go ahead and unplug that from your computer, and then we will insert that into the Raspberry Pi and boot it up.
After you boot up your Raspberry Pi, you should see a desktop environment that looks like this. And one of the first things that I always recommend doing with an operating system is updating and upgrading just to make sure everything is uh, up to par. And we do not have any upgrades, so now we can continue and see if we have any updates. And that about covers it.